welcome back to my channel. So I am starting a new series on my channel that is a little different from the travel videos I normally post. We are converting our 1973 VW bus to electric. So this is our 1973 bus behind us. We've had this bus for, I would say probably about 10 years. Mm -hmm. We purchased it um, on a Super Bowl Sunday 10 years ago uh, from some guy up in Washington State who claimed that it didn't run. And so we right. drove all yes, yeah, so we drove all the way up to Washington State on Super Bowl Sunday and uh, we got there kind of in, in the dark and so we saw this thing sitting in front of this guy's house and we basically uh, brought a little tow dolly with us attached to the back of our truck. So we were able to push it up onto the tow dolly and get it all secured mm -hmm. and uh, brought it back home to us, um, you know, to our house in Portland. And once we got back home, my first impression was, okay, I wonder if this thing, if it was true, if it actually does run or not. So the first thing I did was I got inside, I put the key in the ignition and the ignition switch didn't turn. It was stuck. Now, as anyone knows from really old vehicles from the early 70s or beyond, the ignition switch can sometimes get stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you gotta kind of jiggle it and play with it a little bit. So yeah. sure enough, I got in there and I jiggled it and I played with it and I was able to get it to turn. I'm like, oh my God, like it actually does turn. Yeah. So my thought, <laughs> the thoughts raced through my head, maybe this thing actually does run. Maybe the guy just didn't know, like didn't know how to, to go any further than that. Yeah. So of course, once I turned that key, the battery was totally dead. So we had to get a new battery. So we slapped a new battery in there, poured like a couple gallons of fresh gas in, got back in, turned the key, it turned over. That was amazing. Yeah. Give it a little bit of gas, next thing you know, it's running. So, we had a fully functioning vehicle, um, which uh, was a total surprise How to much us. did you pay for it again? $500. It's 500 bucks. 500 bucks. So, that being said, we drove it around for a little while, towed it behind a motorhome occasionally. Um, you know, drove it for a couple of years on and off, like, like really not much. Yeah. And uh, so now what we're going to do is, um, since it's been sitting in our backyard for, <laughs> I don't know, five, five years maybe or, yeah. or more with a car cover on it, We've decided uh, with my automotive shop and our background here, we're going to convert it uh, to, a, to an electric um, Volkswagen bus, which is very easy to do because this Volkswagen bus of this era has pretty much no electronics. So there's no engine computers, emissions controls, things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a perfect vehicle to do that with um, because you don't, have, you don't have to sort of figure out how to in integrate it with those other systems. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install six Tesla batteries out of a Tesla Model S, and then obviously take out the gasoline engine, put in an electric motor with a controller and battery charger and all that good stuff, uh, which you'll see going forward. And in th at that point, we'll have uh, a vehicle that's probably capable of anywhere from 100 to 120 miles on a single charge. And uh, that's that's the big plan. Yeah. Now, the other thing you'll notice uh, is, is with this bus, and, and it being as old as it is, it needs some work, some yeah. exterior work. The paint is faded, it's, it's old. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's the floor, some- The floor, there's, there's like holes in the floor Yep, there's bit. some rusty spots. Yeah. And uh, we'll show you that next, so you can kind of get an idea of what we're up against from a body and interior perspective. And uh, we'll show you some more here in a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just start with the exterior really quick. Um, so you get an idea of kind of the exterior uh, condition and, and what we what our plans are for it. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the exterior, uh, obviously like we've talked about, it's been sitting for quite some time. We've got windshield wipers here that are not even like connected. Ugh, <laughs> it's yeah. like flopping all over. Uh, we've got this uh, spare tire that was mounted to the front of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna move this to the inside of the vehicle, okay? okay. So you can dismount this tire and in the back, um, actually, come on, I'll show you. So in the back, there's actually a space for the, uh, for right this, there. Right, yep. this cavity here. You can see there's sort of like a big tire well here. So a tire can be mounted nice back in here, out of the way. You're not gonna miss that space or anything. Yes, so and so what's gonna be um, in replacement of the tire on front? Well, we're gonna put the Volkswagen logo there. Nice. So we actually have a logo that we've already purchased um, from a company called Wolfsburg West. Okay. Uh, they're down in California. They have virtually every part you can possibly imagine for this. Uh, I, there's pretty much been nothing that I haven't been able to find that I've needed. So for example, we're gonna do all new rubber trim uh, for this thing because if you look at these seals up close, you can kind of see they're completely torn and just Ugh, falling yeah. apart. 
water leaks big time. They're just from 1973. Right. So <laughs> at Wolfsburg West, um, they sell all new rubber seals and whatnot. So we're gonna replace all the seals around the doors, all the ones around the windows, things like that, okay? No more leaks. No more leaks. <laughs> so that's one thing we're gonna do. Awesome. And then if you look back here, you can uh, right. There's a hole there. Uh, there's a big gash there. I'm not really sure how much we're gonna put into bodywork on this thing at this point. I think maybe do some light work to it, and then we'll we'll uh, uh, maybe do uh, what's called a plasti dip uh, paint job on this, uh, which is mm. basically that rubberized paint that you can peel off right. uh, if you don't like it. So they have many colors. It's an easy DIY uh, kind of project that you can do, and you get kind of good, quick results. So I think we might do something like that, and then maybe over time, depending on how much longer we have it, maybe we'll get a full custom you know, full on paint job and get all the body work actually dealt with. Yes, so, we already have some color ideas in mind. Yeah, exactly. I'm very excited so, about that. Uh, do some things like a dent here. Pretty much every panel on this van has something, yeah. something wrong with it. Um, you can see there's like a, a dent there, dent there. Right. You know, things like that. Uh, but uh, inside, everything functions. All the side windows function, all the mirrors, all the windows, everything like that. And uh, if you look inside here, we pulled up the rubber floor mat. And there's actually a nice big hole here. You can kind of see. Um, so we're gonna cut this piece out and put in a new piece of uh, uh, sheet, sheet steel there for, um, you know, for a solid floor where, you're, where the driver sits. And uh, they do make an entire pan that you can buy. They do make an entire piece that you can buy and weld in. But you know, mm -hmm. I don't think we want to go through that much effort at this point. Yeah. Um, but uh, we put on um, when we first got it, the seats were totally destroyed. Up front. I remember that, yeah. Yep, so, and, and actually they look Mom like wouldn't even let Maya and I sit in it. <laughs> These are the bench seats that we pulled out already. But you can see the way, they, and some seat belts, but you can see yeah, the way they ugh. were. The, the vinyl was totally gone, and it was just like you could see all the original cushion in there and, right. and whatnot, so yeah, it was pretty nasty. Uh, so these are the two rear bench seats that we pulled out, um, which mm -hmm. we will be putting back in um, after we get them recovered and matching the other ones on the interior. But, right. Uh, and I think um, I think we're gonna have it so that like some of them, some of the chairs will be able to go down in case like you want to have a bed in there and sleep in it. Uh, yeah, we'll see what else. Uh, but yeah, all the gauges work up front here, uh, which is nice. Obviously, the speedometer is what you're gonna be using primarily, and then in place of the uh, gas gauge, you're going to have a. Uh, uh, um, you know, a, a voltage gauge. Uh, we can see how many volts the battery's putting out and then the battery capacity and uh, things like that. So, yeah, so anyway, that's that's kind of the project. Uh, all new door panels as well. You can kind of take a look at the door panels. <laughs> yeah, here. look at that. They're yeah. pretty nappy. Um, and they just use this sort of kind of like cardboard uh, masonite or whatever yeah, it was, what but basically it's, it's a very thin sort of this wood fiber um, board material. So, what our plan is is to take these off make templates for them and then cut them out of ABS plastic and then put on whatever um, type of material we want yeah. uh, to those. So that's kind of our plan for uh, all the panels inside the van. Uh, but like I said, it's really cool everything works. Uh, one, of, one of the things we did initially when we first got it was we lowered it and so the back is dropped as well as the front has a, uh, um, a lowered beam on the front, uh, mm -hmm. just a lowering beam on the front. So it sits lower than a typical bus, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, we kind of like that look, so we plan on kind of keeping that. And let's see what else is over here. Uh, the original sliding door works. Yeah. <laughs> look inside here, this is, uh, this is sort of the empty space of people without the seats. Uh, but most of our batteries are going to go in a battery box that we're going to have kind of right in this area here. And basically this okay. is where the middle third bench seat was. And so we're gonna build a battery box and then take the seat and the seat cushion and put it on top of the battery box. And mm -hmm. so it's gonna be a solid, you know, very solid structure, but uh, basically that batteries are gonna be, uh, you know, standing up vertically six of the Tesla batteries and they're gonna be in this battery box, which is located right here. So easy to access, easy to deal with, um, and kind of, um, you know, sort of perfect placement uh, for this thing, kind of mid -lined. Nice. And like, yeah. what's going on with the roof? Uh, yeah, so the roof, the headliner, they do make a new headliner you can get. So we are going to be purchasing one of those. We don't have it yet. Okay. But uh, clearly over the years, somebody has, you know, put things in here that's torn. Uh, <laughs> yes. It's, it's just, you know, it's just, I don't know what, it's it's just this vinyl, perforated vinyl. Yeah, and so it's really easy to... Yeah, it's pretty old. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so we're going to replace that so that the interior top looks good. Nice. And, uh, yeah. I like think I the seat belts might be one of the only things that we're not... <laughs> yeah. Not replacing. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably keep those. 
those. Um, although there is a shelf life to seat belts, so we might want to take a look at uh, new ones if they're relatively inexpensive just from a safety perspective. Right. And especially for the fronts. Okay. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, but yeah, that works. Sweet. Yes, and then uh, let's see, and I'll show you the Tesla batteries. So you oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have one um, Tesla battery right here. Normally a uh, Model S has 16, but in our VW bus we are going to have six of these, but here's one. Give me a good look at it. Yeah, don't quote us on that, I, uh, the 16 in the Tesla S. I think, I'm pretty sure it's 16. Somewhere around but there. I'm not 100% positive, but yeah. it's 16. <laughs> Anyway, um, so Tesla batteries are really good for their uh, their power density. So basically they have, per cell, they can cram a lot more power in than a typical battery cell of the same size. So that's why it's nice to use Tesla batteries because you can use less and get the same kind of range. Uh, otherwise you'd have to use a lot more batteries to do that. Um, yes. Some of the brand. So that's why we're using Tesla batteries. Cool, and then where'd you get these? Uh, I found these online. So uh, we bought them from our erect salvage vehicle. So yeah, so we was that like over Craigslist or eBay? Uh, no, it was over eBay. eBay, okay, awesome. We found some sellers there. So yes, yeah, so we're doing that. And then uh, if you come over here, we can see uh, we can take a look at some of the parts. I won't go through all the parts, but because there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get some rubber. This is the rubber trim. Okay. So basically, in all these boxes here. As you can see, <laughs> uh, there's qu there's quite a few things. Uh, oh, yeah. the, the motor, or the, uh, the, um, the bus is right here. Right. So it just looks like a cylinder, it's pretty straightforward, but that's the motor in that box there, okay. And then, yeah, in here it's it's just a whole bunch of, of parts. I'm like, so I'm not gonna go through them. This one's the uh, the battery charger. So that's what's gonna charge the battery when we're plugged in. Cool. Lots of little gauges, wiring harnesses, connectors, transmission adapters. Uh, we're gonna cool the batteries with liquid. So the Tesla batteries have liquid cooling. We're gonna do the same thing. Mm. Uh, so we're gonna be pumping uh, liquid through there to keep the batteries cool. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, we're gonna get started on this project. Well, we've actually just started on this project. We started on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, so we started tearing out the interior uh, components and we'll kind of keep you posted on how things go. Okay, so um, you talked a little bit about how right now it's just driving as a normal manual car on stick shift. How is it going to change yes, once we convert yes, it's it? it's a manual four-speed transmission. Mm -hmm. And so we're connecting the motor directly to the transmission. So really there is no uh, kind, of, kind of difference. The transmission is still the same, okay? The only difference is that we're gonna have a lot more power uh, than the 40 to 50 horsepower engine that was currently in there. Right. So power-wise, it'll be insanely better. And uh, what you can do is you just sort of leave it in gear. And so you start, you'll start. you probably be starting off in well, second two, gear. Well, two gears, right? Only two yeah, gears Yeah, like maybe now? second and third. So okay. that's all you'll use. So you'll still use the transmission. You just won't be shifting one, two, three, and four most of the time. You'll start off in second, and probably for most of the of your driving, you'll be in second gear. And then when you hop on the freeway and you really get going, you'll probably toss it into third. And that's that's really about it. And my favorite thing is it's not going to stall. <laughs> it never, yeah. really, it never, it never really stalled. I stall. Okay, well, you, I stall. You stall I'm awful. I'm awful at driving stick shift, and I stall all the time. You just need more practice. I know. But anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, so so yeah, drivability on this is going to be. A thousand times better. Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, than, 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 <laughs> yeah, than what it was previously. So pretty, pretty, pretty exciting. <laughs> that took a second. <laughs> Let's see if she can actually put it in gear and pull it forward. Oh. Okay, so emergency <laughs> brake. Turn that handle. Turn it to the right. Okay. Push in. There. E brake off. Okay. Okay, put your foot on the clutch. Oh, but I have to. I don't. Put your foot on the clutch. The gas? That's the clutch. Which you don't worry, to worry about the gas. You're on a level surface. Oh. From the clutch. Okay, let off the brake. It's not going to roll anywhere, Lily. Lily. Let off the brake all the way. Okay. Okay, put the car into first gear. 
I'm going to zoom back a little. Okay, now push forward. There. Now there you're in here. Just let off the clutch slowly. Okay. Ready? Slowly. Slowly. Good. A little more. She did it. Yay. Uh, uh. A little more. A little more. I stalled. Stalled again. That's twice. Third try to pull it in far enough. Stop. Okay, turn the car off. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe.